Remember that, that clip that went a little viral and like T-Pain tells you how to grind and all that shit. And I was like, you gotta, you know, if you working, then you, when you get off of work, you gotta keep working on yourself and blah, blah, blah. But don't get off of work and then go to sleep. Like you ain't got nothing to work for for yourself. If you want something for yourself, you gotta work for it. Just like the CEO that got you to work for him did. Same shit. Even if they got a handout, they got your ass to work for him. So he ain't got to do that job. How the fuck are you going to get your company big enough to convince somebody to do that job for you? To where you ain't got to do that shit no more. Even if it's printing t-shirts. Are you going to be printing t-shirts for the rest of your life? Or are you going to get your company big enough to where there's people ordering thousands of t-shirts at a time and you just ain't got the fucking time? So you just going, you just going, oh, I got to grind. I got to grind. No, nigga, you going to motherfucking build this shit up and hire new people to get, to get them, get them to do the shit for you. And you just going to sit back and run the books. That's it. Like, what the, I don't understand, bro. Like, uh, they tell you that's what hard work is. You go through a 12 step program to go do, do to go make somebody else's money. So everybody like t Pain promote, t Pain's out there promoting uh burnout. Nobody knew who I was talking to because people was like, I got two jobs. That's hard work. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's hard work. But if you're complaining about yourself, if you're saying you got two jobs that can make somebody else money, but when you get home, all you're doing is being on Instagram complaining about why everybody else's life looks so dope. That's because you're not working on yourself. You're working making somebody else that Instagram life. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I was specifically speaking to the people that sit at home on the couch and complain about everybody else's life if you ain't doing your shit. So the, the whole moral of my shit was if you don't like your situation, do something about it. If you're completely content with making ends meet, doing your job, going home, being able to eat, being able to feed who you gotta feed, that's totally fine. But if on the other side of that you're complaining about why you not making more money and why you're not doing it. if you're complaining about that that's up to you to change that now just because you put all your time into a job that you fucking hate and i commend people that can do that get up and do a job they fucking hate just to just to make shit work that's cool if you're not willing to do anything outside of that you can't complain about what's happening outside of that. If you're not willing to change that situation, then fucking don't, don't get pissed off at me because I was. That is literally why people hated me so much because they felt like all I was doing was using auto-tune and they can just use auto-tune and make the same money. Why the fuck they not rich and famous? What's so special about this dark, stupid nigga looking nigga? That's why people fucking hated me so much because they felt I was doing something so simple that they could do it too. So why the fuck aren't they as rich as me? But they don't understand the parts of the outside that goes with doing shit on your own and making your own independent choices and shit like that because even on that post somebody was like didn't you work for a record label wasn't that your nine to five and i was like yes but now guess what i'm independent because while i was doing that shit making them people that money i was working on getting my own shit and now i don't have to work for them anymore just like if you got a nine to five that's your first investment your first investment is a nine to five that's your investor your first investor is a job nigga use that money to start funding the shit that you actually want to do i'm not saying fuck jobs or fuck work or anything like that but people took that as me saying I'm, i i got money how come you don't <laughs> like what the fuck how did you even get that out of what i said i'm saying work your fucking nine to five do that shit but when you get off that job you got to keep working not for not for the person that you just got off of work from but if you want something to be different outside of that job you got to keep doing something if you're content with what you're doing and I, I applaud that and you you fucking got it figured out but if you go home and you scroll on instagram you're like what the fuck where are these niggas getting all this fucking money from i know this this nigga ain't got as much money as me. I know this nigga. But you don't know what he's doing. But that's all you thinking about is, why the fuck am I not? But you hating from the couch. Get your ass up and see what it's like to actually put in a little extra. I'm not going to hit you with the fucking Kim Kardashian. People don't want to fucking work anymore. I'm not going to hit you with that. I know you want to work. Like, that's fucking stupid to say. If that's all you're going to do is line somebody else's pockets, then you can't complain about yours. You got time. You got the same 24 hours as everybody else. And I know that sounds cliche as fuck because it's... it's True. That's one. Everybody thought I was just saying, I got money. Why don't you? No, I'm specifically pe speaking to the people that's like, what the fuck make T-Pain so special? Why the, how the fuck did he even get famous? What does he even do? He just uses auto -tune. All right. If that's if that's what you think, a lot of people like to make excuses too. I ain't going to lie. I know that's how I do. I don't, I, don't, I, don't deal with, I don't deal with excuses. I deal with solutions is what John Tapper would say. But the shit gets a little... It gets a little dry, man. It gets real dry when people are like, you talking about burnout. You you complain about where you are. Then when I say, well, why don't you just, why don't you try to change the situation? And you're like, well, I'm tired. <laughs>
<laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? You still got time. You got time to work on it. You know that thing that you got in your, that thing that you've had in your head for the last five years that you're like, man, if I get some time to work on this, this shit's going to make me rich as fuck. I got an invention that I'm thinking about. Or, uh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, just start working on that. You ain't got to finish it tonight. Work on it for an hour. Work on it for five minutes. If you go to the gym every day for a week and don't work out, that's more powerful than working out three hours a day because the hard part is getting into a routine of showing up to do that thing outside of what you feel like you have to do you don't have to work out you don't have to lose weight unless you do for medical reasons but for the for the average person you don't have to do that shit but if you get your body used to getting off of work or getting up before work and then just showing up at the gym and just just get used to being there first you ain't got to do nothing just get used to being there if you get your body used to doing that then fucking get the the next after seven days on day eight you get in there and you, you fucking walk on the treadmill real slow for five minutes and then get the fuck up out of there the next day seven minutes get up out of there the next day ten minutes before you know it you got a fucking crowd around you next month because you lifted fucking 400 pounds by your fucking self and it's just weird you know what i mean get your shit together man get your shit put it in the backpack <laughs> get together <laughs> look I don't down nobody that, that's doing their thing and going nine to five. I don't give a fuck what you doing. What I do give a fuck about is people complaining after they decided to not do anything about what they're complaining about. The reason that famous people are who they are is because they did different shit. They did something different than the average person. And I understand that er not everybody's gonna be a boss. Of course not. Not everybody's gonna be a boss, but if you're uh, if you're content with being where you are, then don't complain about not being a boss. If you're not willing to put in the attributes and, and 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 retain the attributes of a boss then don't complain about not being one nobody's just gonna start working for you out of nothing you ain't got you ain't got ambitions yourself i'm fine with fucking with being the hated person but i need to be hated for a reason i want to i'm not i'm not promoting burnout i'm not trying to tell you to fucking you need to stay up for the rest of the fucking night and then just go back to work don't get any sleep get off of work and then stay up until you got to go back to work i'm not saying that but you need to work on something if you're saying that you got aspirations outside of your job then you need to do something outside of your job that's weird that people took that as y'all niggas is lazy <laughs> they said I'm out of touch. They said I was out of touch on that post. Motherfucker acting like I grew up rich or something. I tried. I, I tried to help, and then everybody's like, "Oh, if, if out of touch was a person." Okay. Hey, we all don't. We 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 don't agree with this, right? We nobody no, nobody wants to work outside of their job, right? Everybody trying to rally each other together, and most people are like, "No, he's right. He's right." And I'm not trying to rally anybody. I'm speaking from fucking experience. Because if I would have just sat and just tried to make music in my shit in my free time, and, and just sat and did nothing about it, and just, and not try to change my situation, and not change how I was being, you know, treated and brought up and shit like that, none of that shit would work. There's plenty of niggas in your own neighborhood that got great songs, but they ain't got the drive to fucking do something with it they want everybody to just hey can you listen to my shit when is the streams that you uh that you play people music and stuff that's how you want to make it hell no i don't want to rely on no other motherfucker to make sure my shit gets hurt you got to get your shit hurt and going and asking other niggas to listen ain't gonna do it showing up at the mall freestyling for niggas ain't gonna do it i know there's been some success stories that niggas have been generous like all right man come on i guess go to the studio and shit but how long has that lasted you didn't see people on instagram just popping up on niggas at the mall like let me rap for you okay i don't know what beat this supposed to be on i don't know why did, like like, yeah, but I can rap though. Yeah, so can battle rappers. Y'all niggas buying they singles? Why the fuck ain't y'all supporting battle rappers like y'all supposed to be? Rap battle rappers is literally some of the best fucking rappers of all time. And y'all acting like they ain't, they ain't shit because they ain't got the, the, the social media shit behind them. They ain't got the extra shit. But you'll watch their battles. You'll watch their battles. But for some reason, when niggas drop songs and shit, y'all be like, ah, I don't know. If, it's, if he ain't screaming at another nigga, I don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost some pocket taps. How do we see the pocket taps? And if you go do pocket taps in your video, I don't want to see it if you're not doing pocket taps. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking support battle rappers. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs>